um, you know, teenagers and young people, where are they going to turn? Well, how about AmeriCorps? This is where it gets interesting to me. Jim Bavard, he is the author of Attention Deficit Democracy. Well, that sounds good, Jim. How are you? How are you doing? Doing sir? good. Thanks for having me on. Very, very good. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a beard like that in a while. That's a good-looking beard you got there. Ha, ha, ha. Um, well, yeah, it was something, something my fashion coach came up with. <laughs> I got one, too. Look at me. Um, okay, Jim, help me out on AmeriCorps. Um, they're promoting national service, and that's great and everything. It's just, you know, David just said, hey, look, you know, and they're trying to do things with, you know, politicians are just trying to look and say, hey, maybe we can, you know, raise the minimum wage and that'll help poor people. I don't think that's what's happening here. They're pushing people into the government and they're pushing people into community service. Tell me a little bit about the plan that you might see with AmeriCorps. Well, uh, the Obama administration wants to triple the size of AmeriCorps, raising it from 75,000 uh, members to more than uh, to a quarter million people. This was a boondoggle when Clinton started. It was a boondoggle when George W. Bush expanded it. And it's an even bigger boondoggle now. And there's, this, uh, there's, there's so much sanctimony about this program. This is politicians' attempt to put a halo over the entire federal government. Yeah, okay. This is actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in their uh, executive summary, they talk about this is a pipeline towards government service. This is a pipeline to get people in and having them serve, right? Well, yeah, and service, I mean, there's so, there's so much dishonesty about this program because Obama, like earlier presidents, talks about these people being volunteers, but a lot of them are earning as much or more as what they could have earned in a oh, real yeah. job. Oh, yeah. And they've got all of the perks. They've got all of the benefits. They have all of the uh, the stability of a government job, if you will. I mean, you can't fire these people. It's, um, it's bad. Okay, so here's where I want to uh, uh, take you. I think a lot of people will talk about uh, minimum wage and they'll say, oh, well, the politicians are just stupid or whatever. I don't think they are. I really don't think they are. I think they are hiking minimum wage because they know that will uh, adversely affect mainly unskilled labor and mainly anyone from 16 to 24. Those are the ages that most people make minimum wage. And so what they're doing is, oh, my gosh, that happens to be the age of service for AmeriCorps. Once you're 24, you got to get out. So they're making it difficult for people to find minimum wage jobs, pushing you into uh, service. You know and I know that, that Ted Kennedy wanted mandatory community service. It, do you think there's anything to that theory? Well, there are a number of congressmen who want mandatory service. There was a provision in the uh, bill that Congress passed early this year to expand AmeriCorps to set up a, a congressional commission to uh, study the question whether it would be good to force all young people to serve the federal government as congressmen demand. I mean, this is a real tough, this is a real difficult question in Washington. Okay. Uh, but the, no, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, it's, 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 it's funny to see there's so many different levels of nonsense about this. And um, I, I'm not sure if congressmen have an explicit intent here, but congressmen do love all the photo opportunities. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is a program which has been exploited by congressmen, mayors, governors, and presidents ever since it was created. And all that matters is that it's profitable for politicians and taxpayers be damned. I will tell you this, Jim, that I don't think all of the congressmen or senators have any clue as to what's going on. I think AmeriCorps is becoming um, our republic's own acorn. I think this thing is spiraling out of control, and there are people like President Obama, there are people like uh, uh, Ted Kennedy who know exactly what the plan is with AmeriCorps. I mean, we've been talking about it all week. Um, we've been talking about how uh, you can get loans, and if you work for the government, all of a sudden those loans are going to be relieved. They are driving people in to become slaves, uh, uh, you know, behind a government telephone working for the government. I, I think that's exactly well, I, what's happening. Yeah, the, the, there's an old saying by H.L. Mencken that America is turning into a country where there are more people voting for a living than working for a living. And that's what happens when you expand programs like AmeriCorps and some of the other summer job stuff the government's up to right now. Okay. Uh, I appreciate it very much, Jim. Um, thank you so much. I, you know, I have to tell you that, I, I mean, I don't even know if you know that there, you know, remember when Barack Obama was on the campaign trail and said, oh, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have an army of people in America and they'll be better financed than, uh, you know, than the, the military. And I thought to myself, what? what? Who's he talking about?
I think AmeriCorps is part of that army, and they, you know, I got the pledge, and I was going to read it to you, but I thought, you know, I can't really read it to you, you know, sitting here like this. I mean, to really go for it, I mean, you really do the AmeriCorps pledge. I think you have to be dressed like this. I think, I think you have to stand up and take your pledge. I will get things done for America to make our people safer and smarter and healthier. I will bring Americans together to strengthen our communities. Faced with apathy, I will take action. Faced with conflict, I will seek common ground. Faced with adversity, I will persevere. I will carry this commitment with me this year and beyond. I am an AmeriCorps member and I will get things done. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Common sense solutions to health care problems. Next.